So today guys, we're gonna be doing a change out for aluminum to copper. So we don't have the ability to try to pull all of the wiring that's inside the wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna splice on copper using marettes that are safe for copper and aluminum and we're gonna splice them in every device box. So every plug, every switch, and every light is gonna be taken apart and we're gonna pigtail on some copper. Okay, so while you're doing this, this is a good time to upgrade your plugs because you're already gonna have to take them off. So we're upgrading here to a Decora style plug. But I'm gonna explain our marettes here. So here you have a normal marette and here we have our copper and aluminum connection marette. So inside of here is a special material that is not a conductor, it's gonna help uh, alleviate some of that heat that's building up in aluminum. The problem with aluminum is that over time it expands and contracts and as it expands and contracts you're gonna notice that it creates space. It creates space in devices like plugs here and then what happens is as the space is created heat starts building up and heat and electricity are never good. You end up in a bad cycle starts wearing on the aluminum uh, insulation and then the insulation can kind of come back and start arcing either to the box or another neutral or a ground. If you have a federal panel, this can kind of make it even worse because federal panels won't break sometimes like the connection. And if the connection doesn't break, then you got a circumstance for a fire. Basically you've got arcing inside your box, the breaker's not blowing, and things even that are non-combustible start kind of lighting on fire and smoldering inside. And this is bad. So we're trying to avoid this problem. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna take our black copper and we're gonna splice that onto our aluminum. Now we've already made sure that these are all dead. Now we're gonna take this that's filled with that material and I'm actually gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you. You see all that black deox? That's Penetrox on there. So we can see right there, it's got Penetrox on it now. So we can slide that in and twist that on. Make sure you're getting. When you're splicing these on, I would make sure that the aluminum is spliced together first. Uh, it's a lot more pliable, so it's gonna be harder to get them all together to go in and then just wrap your copper around the line. Now we wanna do our ground, which is aluminum. Now, do your best to tuck all of these marettes into the back of the box, and then we're gonna attach our device like we would on a normal day. We're just attaching our plug. Green is your ground or your bond, depending on how picky you wanna be with your vocabulary. Uh, the silver screw is gonna be your neutral. Um, we make sure that every time that we have a screw that's not being used, we tighten it down so that it can't catch on the box. Black goes to gold. Making sure that our copper is out of our way because if that copper's touching that side of the box, you're gonna have shorting in your box. And then just level your plug off. And uh, usually we would throw the covers on for our customer, but they're gonna paint this wall. I guess they don't like the cover. So you see now that we've done this one plug that we've got down here. So we just have to go around and do all of these. What's happening is these devices are not rated and even these new ones are not rated for aluminum. So everything has to be changed, whether it's a light, you know, a switch around the corner or any of these plugs that Emily's doing now, they all have to be changed. They all have to have copper terminated on any devices. Devices mean plugs, switches, lights. So inside of here, we can see the CU, I'm gonna try to find one that's not upside down, C-U-A-L, 
This is rated for copper, Cu, and Al, which is aluminum. So I did say that aluminum wiring was bad and we shouldn't generalize all aluminum wiring because we do use it for our service feeds to help make things cheaper. But in the same sense, we use everything that is rated for aluminum. So our breakers are rated for aluminum, our butt splicing at the mast is rated for aluminum, and there's no other splicing in between those two points. So we're rated for the aluminum on the service, but we are definitely not on our devices and our fixtures out at the house. Aluminum wiring is not a hard fix, but it is very dangerous and we want to help. You.